Hey everyone, Peter here. Tonight I'm gonna be showing you how to clean up space on your computer and make your hard drive have a lot more space. And yeah, so uh, the first time I did this, it's kind of like we're gonna be deleting a kind of like a secret folder that not really a lot of people know about. Um, I know a lot of stuff about computers and I had no idea about this folder until about like a couple months ago, a year ago. So uh, it can clean up anywhere from a gig to 400 gigs, even more, depending on how much space you have and all that and how long you had the computer for. Uh, the first time I did it, it cleaned up about 350 gigs and I was like, damn. So uh, I have 158 gigs free out of 918. And let's just open this up. Uh, and this is a program. You don't need this to clean up your computer. Um, it just tells you like what, um, like what files take up the most space. It's called Oslogix Boost Speed. It has a lot of pretty cool, neat stuff. So uh, my movies take up a lot of space. Uh, we won't be paying attention to that, 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 that. And right here, system volume information, 10 gigs. It's not a lot right now, but taking and um, like, I forgot, but pretty much I reinstalled my Windows just a couple days ago. And just like in those couple days, it already built it up 10 gig. But it won't be this fast for you because I was moving around a lot of stuff and was like backing it up. So if you had your computer for about a year and you haven't done this you will probably have over like 50 gigs but that depends on the computer I think um, it might have a cap maybe like 40 percent of your total volume so it won't go over a certain point or if, like it won't go back in time but pretty much what the system volume information is is its backups of your computer so for example we'll say um, this file right here you go to properties previous versions and there you go that's what this is it's the previous version so um, if you don't know what that is I'll kind of explain a little bit for example you're in here and we'll say you deleted this file by accident forever I'm not gonna do it right now like you delete it you empty the recycle bin and you're like oh crap I really needed that you could just do properties previous versions and it's 12.50 right now, so we'd say I deleted the file maybe like at 12 a.m. So we'll say let's reset it to yesterday at 10.16 and you get the file back. That's how that works. Um, if you like, if you deleted some stuff recently, I recommend not doing this right away. Make sure everything is working properly and you have everything you need. Because if you delete this, it'll be a lot more complicated to get the file back. It is possible, but it will be a lot more complicated and frustrating. Like, but yeah, so just don't fuck up. And uh, what you want to do is make sure you have the disk selected. If you just go properties like this, it'll pull up your computer information. You do not want that. So select the disk if you have a couple. Um, I'm not really sure. I actually have no idea if you have a couple. So I'm pretty sure it just does it on the disk where the Windows is saved. So just select the disk where you have Windows. And do properties. And this cleanup. Now you gotta wait for this to load up. And then just ignore all of this. You could do this to clean up your disk. But... I never used it, it never does anything, it's useless. Do clean up system files. Uh, this process works for Vista, 7, and XP. Uh, I believe on XP it's a little bit different, like it's still the same way, but like the options might be somewhere else, or like it might uh, word it and phrase it differently. But Vista, I am pretty sure it is the exact same. So once it's done loading that, it might take a little bit longer sometimes. You just uh, ignore all of this, it's useless still. Go to more options. Uh, ignore this. And system restore and shadow cap copies. That's what it is. Now, 
uh, I don't know how you can figure out how much your system volume information takes up. I'll try to find the link for some free program because you have to pay for this. And just post it in the description below. So you just do cleanup, you do delete. And it's kind of weird, it doesn't have any progress bar, but like you see, I can't select this, that means it's deleting it all. So let's just give it a minute. It's not that much space, it shouldn't take that long. Oh, yeah, it's still cleaning it up. So, yeah, I guess in this time I can advertise myself, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and by the way, I'm gonna be making more um sorry for that all that squeaking uh there we go it should be done 167 just like it said nine point something so yeah i'm gonna be making more computer videos like some tutorials um basic tutorials some complicated tutorials and uh what else was i gonna say oh yeah I promised uh, people a video on Windows 8. What happened was like since no program supported it, it was really complicated to set everything up and I'm lazy. I was just like, I'm not doing this. So I'll try to get uh, Windows 8 com kind of a demo video. Mm, I'll try to set it up on one of my other computers and then just show it to you guys from there. But yeah, as you can see, I just cleaned up 9 gigs that were kind of useless and as you can see all of the copies are gone except like one from about an hour ago so yeah if you had your computer for a while you will probably have a lot of system volume information clean it up sometimes it doesn't work the first time um, when you click that clean up button uh, let me show it to you real quick since this is pretty fast Sometimes like when you click it the first time uh, it doesn't delete it all and just click on it again or it could just be taking its time because it might take like all the way up to half an hour depending on your hard drive and how much space it takes up. So just like see when it lights up that means it should be done. So if it doesn't work the first time just do it again. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, subscribe, um, like video, comment, and if you want me to do tutorials, any specific tutorials or help you out, uh, message me or comment, like I said, I know a lot about computers, and let's get this exactly 8 minutes, I'll see you next time.